Hi, Jake Nicholas here. Um, I'm going to be teaching you how to get a fish, but the particular fish we're getting is um, actually a squawfish. You can see him there. I'm going to be using a fillet knife, a grapefruit spoon to scrape it out. And uh, yeah, we're actually going to be eating this guy, which is surprising because People don't usually eat squawfish. Well, squawfish are really good to eat, or the northern pike minnows or squawfish are really good to eat. They're just a little bony, but uh, that doesn't matter. Like, you can just spit out the bones, still have lots of meat. So, let's get started. Okay, so you're going to stick the knife, this bum hole right there. You're just going to cut a well, little. Let me get it in. Uh, oh, one sec. Okay, and then you're going to start cutting a straight. Yeah, one sec. Um, okay, and you're going to start cutting up here. Up here. Yeah, there. Up to here. Up to his head. And you're gonna open it up to get all the guts. Ugh. Yep. Just put them in a pile right there. Caught this guy on a worm in One Mile Lake. Yeah, a really good pike you know, fishing there. It's just, yeah. Uh, this guy wasn't meant to be eaten. Like, I would have let him go, but he swallowed the hook. But I don't mind keeping the odd fish. And so, as soon as that's cleaned out, you gotta cut this spine because there's often a bloodline there. And then you gotta scoop it out with your spoon. Scoop it out, scoop it out, scoop it out. That's scooped out. This is what you gotta do. So you gotta take this fan right here. You gotta stick the knife behind it. You gotta start cutting off the head like this. Like this. And then that's one side. Then you gotta go to the other side. And and this is really for any fish. We're not gonna be filleting this guy because uh, like. We're not going to be filleting him. Uh, we might scale him. Scale him. Yeah. Scale him. I guess. Uh, yeah, like, this. Stay on. Um, we've got to put that all in a pile. There's his head. And then, like, uh, one sec. This has been... Annoying. Uh, yeah, and then you're gonna cut off his tail. There. And that's your piece of meat. Now I'll try and scale it. Actually, no, I like the scales. Because the scales actually taste really good when you fry them. The recipe is I'd take Italian pepper uh, with flour and garlic salt. And then um, you've got to um, mix that all up in a bowl with flour. If I already said that. Flour. And then um, when you put the flour in the bowl, you have to, um, like, mix it all up and then once it's mixed all up you just got to take this and like put it around maybe open that up and put some inside there and then you got to stick butter in a frying pan and then you gotta um put this guy in and it will taste really good this guy's just really small but with a big squawfish you could uh you can uh probably um you can um, forget what I was going to say, but if it's a big squawfish, you could probably eat it, fillet it, and eat it without bones. Well, 
Yeah, this fin is hard to get off. Eh, whatever. You can just wait till you're eating to eating it to cut off the fins because when you eat it, the fins just like fall right off because you can rip the meat so easily. And um, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and then that's how you cook the meat. Ew, pooed on me. Uh, so that is how you um, got a squawfish. Now let's go inside and cook him. Hi, I'm Jake Nicholas here. This is what we're going to be using to put in the pan. So I'll mix these all together. Okay, so now that's all mixed together. And then I'm going to take this fish and rub it in that after I set up the pan. So you're going to take this pan and put it on this one. So you're going to turn it up. Hi. Like that. Make sure the stove is red. Good. Okay. And you're going to take the margarine and put it in the pan. Okay, so you've got to take the margarine on the spoon, put it in the pan. Like that. Might need another scoop. Once. One sec. Okay, so I've got another spoonful. Take that and put it on the other side. There. Uh, and then you're going to let that soak into the pan. And then you're going to take this fish. So rub it in the flour. Like that. And you got to make sure, like, whole body is covered in the, in the flour and stuff. And you can open that up. Put some flour inside there. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Then you're gonna wait for just leave it here till the butter soaks to the pan. Okay, that is sizzling right now. So I'm just gonna take this fish. Put it right in the pan like that. And then I'm just gonna wait for it to go. Should set a timer. Set time. Uh minutes. Set it for three minutes. Set a timer. I'll be back in three minutes. Oh listen to that and look at that steam. Uh, it just needs to here. We'll turn off the time now. Then we're gonna take a spatula. I always have a trusty spatula. Ooh, yum. Ooh, that's a little burnt. Yeah. But whatever. It's gonna be good. Sizzling right now. Ooh! Doesn't that look good? Let's turn it over. Okay, so this looks good. Okay, uh, I'll just leave this patch. Okay. Wait. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay. Mm. So yeah, that's how you cook a squawfish. And hope you liked that video. Um, bye.